Hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Happy Monday. How are you guys doing? I hope you're well. Today we are going to be talking about if you're um, getting a proposition for an audition and you feel uncomfortable with your character artistically, what do you do? Do you take the audition or do you not? And so it might be an uncomfortable place, right? On top of having an uncomfortable character to um, defend you're looking for work, um, you get an offer and yeah, you definitely want to work and then you get the, you know, the proposition or the opportunity to audition and you're not feeling aligned with the character. You're not feeling that it's for you. You're not respecting their journey. You can't really feel like you want to defend them. You don't actually like them. You feel they're too far for you. You feel they're wrong for you. You feel they're wrong for the world. You think their story shouldn't be out there. So there's so many, um, so many reasons why you may feel like I'm not comfortable with this. And so part of you may feel like, oh, well, but I have an audition. So I have to do it. I, I got the proposition and I want to satisfy my agent and I want to show up for this casting director. Um, and that's valuable. And if you're just doing it for that, a part of you is kind of doing it to please and therefore your heart and your art, if your heart is not in it, there's no art, right, coming through. So there's no fulfillment either if your heart is not in it. So what what do you do? And you may have, you know, considered um, forcing yourself to do it. You may have said no and felt completely uncomfortable about refusing work or refusing an opportunity. So you're still probably having mixed feelings about what do I do when I have a character that I don't respect or that I'm feeling uncomfortable with? What do I do basically, right? And so what I am going to suggest is, <coughs> thank you, I'm sneezing and sorry. So I heard the bless yous. So um, what I am going to invite you to contemplate is how um, being offered the opportunity to defend a character that you don't right away feel anything for might be an incredible opportunity for you to get super creative. Might be. I didn't say is, but it might be. Because in a way, if you're not resonating with the way that it's written and the way that it's described, you may have therefore plenty of room to create something that does align for you. So to compare it, if you're defending an incredible character that you have reverence for, you might kind of feel a little bit tight and going like, there's nothing I could bring, it's brilliantly written. And all I can do is kind of submit to the writing and therefore there's not much freedom for you to create and to bring in your special juice, your special G DNA. But when it's a character that you can't resonate with, then that means you have all the room to come and propose something that does resonate for you. So in a way, I'm going to say, and you might be confronted by this, that it's actually better when you don't resonate with the character because that's the door open for you to come in and really make a purposeful proposition and really defend the character like only you could and really feel therefore fulfilled because it's coming from your heart and therefore really be making art. Does that mean you'll book it? No. It never, you never can do anything in terms of art that will ensure a result or success. But what it can do is it absolutely will guarantee your level of fulfillment. And it's only from your fulfillment that you can guarantee the credits, the success, the accolades, etc., which is then becoming just, you know, a cherry on the cake, but it's not essential, right? So, sorry. I am suggesting that when you have a character that you're not aligned with, that you're not resonating with, that you're feeling uncomfortable about, it's the perfect opportunity for you to get highly uber super creative, right? That you come and you kind of fill in the blanks that you feel are missing. You come and you propose a version of it that makes sense for you. Actually, we have... Um, 
So in our community, we help actors get free by resetting their instrument from resistance to freedom. And then we also um, have other journeys for them. The second one is called the Purposeful Actor. And in that journey, we give every single actor the same project, which is a feature film, and they get the lead role. And we do see how everyone does not necessarily resonate with the role. Some people resonate with it highly. Some people don't at all and don't like it. And how the opportunity is for them to actually come with a proposition that does make sense for them. And it's incredible to see how creative and how fulfilling it can become for someone to defend it in a way that works for them. Because at the end of the day, you're the artist who is defending the actor, the character. And so it's your take on it that you're interested in. It's your take on it that the casting director is going to be interested in. It's your take on it that the director is going to be into, interested in and the audience, right? So again, it doesn't guarantee that you book the role, but that's not the whole point. The whole point is to be in integrity and authenticity and freedom with who you are and with what you have to propose. Um, so, um, did I cover all the points that I wanted to cover today? Yes. So last part, if you do the work of actually contemplating the fact that you don't like, don't resonate, you feel uncomfortable with the part, and that therefore you're giving yourself the opportunity to work on a kind of a white canvas situation then say, okay, if I would do it, in which circumstances would I want to defend it? And then can I bring that to the picture? Can I bring that proposition to the audition, to the self-tape? If you can't, if you still get to the conclusion that there's no way that I can possibly defend this, it's not meaningful for me, it's not purposeful for me, I wish it didn't exist, then you can refuse the audition from a place of, I've actually done my due diligence of contemplating this all the way to the bottom. I've looked in my heart, I've seen if there was something for me to defend there, and if there isn't, then you'll feel absolutely clear about refusing an audition and it won't feel like an egotistical reason it won't feel like oh maybe i should have tried a little more no you're you're getting the chance to actually put in all of you in a part and and that's when it gets super yummy because then you're bringing something more than just your great acting you're actually saving the role in your opinion you're going to be super fulfilled the script that I actually have in that purposeful actor journey was in fact the script of um, that um, um, the lead role, I was coaching the person who was doing the lead role and that person didn't happen to like the role that she booked. And so our whole job was, okay, how, what can I do in order for me to feel fulfilled as I'm doing this? Because doing it without being fulfilled is not, is not going to pay off. It never does. It maybe sends a check, but I know many people who get many checks and who are not fulfilled with what they do and it won't bring the happiness. So it's, it's just like being at ground zero. It's like you just wasted your time if you're going to do it and be unfulfilled. Right. So, um, all right, well, this was it for me. I hope you guys are well. I hope that you've seen that during the strike, um, we're doing a summer support special, uh, where you can get $200 off the reset journey. And you can also uh, do a BOGO offer, which means that you can do your reset um, for half off if you bring a friend. So I hope that this brings you the support that you may need. You may not need support during the strike, but if you do need financial aid, get in touch with us, let us know, and then um, we'll send you the details. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Ciao.